Here's your latest headlines with Sierra Tufts from the Wayne.com studio. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. Here are your late afternoon headlines for Wednesday, June 5th. We have an update to a story that we brought you during our noon stream. Police say the death of a man in New Haven has been related to a homicide slash suicide. According to the Allen County Sheriff's Department, 61-year-old Kirk Willinger was shot and killed in the 900 block of Canal Place in New Haven on Monday. Police then found a woman dead in the same home with a single gunshot wound. Police say it appeared the wound was self-inflicted. The Indiana Department of Health is warning about a drug. Metatamininine is used in veterinary medicine and it's a sedative, not an opioid. However, IDOH says it's being mixed with opioids. IDOH says their warning is mainly for law enforcement, first responders, clinicians, and public health officials. So far, the drug has only turned up in needle exchange facilities in Marion County, County, excuse me. A silver alert has been declared for a missing 13-year-old girl from Columbia City. Police are looking for Daisy Rogers. She's described as being 5 foot 1, 110 pounds and blonde with blonde hair and green eyes. She was last seen wearing a black hooded sweatshirt and black sweatpants. Police say Daisy was last seen Sunday around 10:30 p.m. If you have any information about her whereabouts, you are asked to call police. Wayne 15 is proud to honor the 80th anniversary of D-Day with an hour-long special tonight. D-Day, the greatest victory, will take viewers to the beaches of Normandy, telling stories of bravery, resilience, and the legacy of almost 160,000 Allied troops who stormed the beaches that day. Watch our special report at 8 tonight on Wayne 15. And coming up during First at 5, the News at 6, and Nightcast at 11, we're hearing from the Allen County Sheriff's Troy Hirschberger about the overcrowding at the jail. He addresses the concern of too many people in the facility. Plus, we're hearing from former employees and former customers of Tranquil Spa after it abruptly closed overnight. Plus, we're taking you live to German Fest where the annual tapping of the keg is happening. And for the first time ever, a woman will be ceremoniously tapping the keg. And that woman is Mayor Sharon Tucker. And let's take a look at those weather headlines momentarily. There we go. Scattered showers continue into the later parts of the evening. We are remaining windy and there is more wind on the way, but we will see less humid conditions as we move across the evening hours as well. Looking at Storm Tracker, you can see a system just hanging around in the area, bringing us those scattered showers. We have that long, strong line of storms that move through the area around 1230 this afternoon. Those have moved out of the area, so it's very scattered at this point. Looking at your hourly planner, our temperatures have dropped dropped from the 80s down to the mid 70s and we'll see those chances of showers again continue to drop overnight as well winds dying down for the much for the meantime at least until we see them start to pick up in the coming days tin caps in town tonight they are playing peoria you can see there's water on the tarp on the field they should be able to sneak in the game there no widespread rain downpours happening later on tonight but just those scattered showers so if you're heading out make sure you grab that umbrella or rain jacket just in case and you might want that jacket as it's going to get cooler tonight as well looking at that exclusive 10-day forecast tomorrow we reach the upper 70s with mostly sunny skies then we drop down to the lower 70s for friday weekend looks like we are in the mid 70s with a little bit of sunshine here and there and just one more day in the 70s when we start our work week before we return back into the 80s on tuesday and the rest of next week we'll see you back here tomorrow morning at 8.30, but we'll see you at 1st at 5, News at 6, and Nightcast at 11. In the meantime, have a great evening.